In this video, we're gonna talk about creating assets. Now, assets are the building blocks to all of the gameplay screens in your game. It's not just the graphics, but it's a piece of the graphics combined with collision code and combined with uh, color information uh, called attributes. Uh, so you're gonna hear that word a lot, and that's what it means. It means, the, the for this purpose, it means the color that, that it's displaying on the screen. Um, to make assets is actually fairly easy. Uh, we're gonna open up graphics, graphic banks, and we're gonna open up graphics bank number one and you can see I've got something called assets I'm going to click on that it's going to bring up a dialog box here in the workspace um, and in this workspace you'll see that the tile set that I built is r right here is the the tiles we just worked on in the last step if you didn't check out this step about the pixel editor check that out and you should see this exact thing right here um, so what I've got is I've got uh, collision uh, stuff right here and I've got graphic stuff right here, and I've got my palettes right here. Um, and I can also load different tile sets. So the first six tile sets are in bank one, and then the next six are in bank two, and the next six are in bank three. And when you're setting up screens, you're determining which bank uh, that particular screen is loading, and then you'll have access to those six. Um, so let's start building some assets the first one is going to be super easy um, we're going to use the grass which does have a null collision type it, you don't run in nothing happens when you walk across the grass so we want that to be null and i can give that a name and i can call that grass or ground or nothing whatever you want to call it, whatever makes sense for your game i'm going to save that and you can see i've got a plus sign there it is now if i make another graphic right now like if i make a blue grass here using this 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 hud sub palette for some reason um i didn't actually edit the grass i'm on a new uh, asset. How do I know I'm on a new asset? See, it still says the word save and assets itself is still selected. If I was editing grass, you would see that grass would be selected and save would have gone away. And I have the word update there instead. And this is really cool because it's a way that I can rapidly create assets based on my tile set. Um, but uh, there is a problem when I start to want to create the next asset. I want to create this tree right here and I want it to be solid. The problem is I don't see anything that says solid here in my list. So real quick, we're going to do two things in order to incorporate solid objects into our game. And it's actually fairly simple. We're going to use tile type number one as solid. So I'm going to go into my project settings and I'm going to go to tile types and I can name these. So now number zero, I'm not just going to call null anymore. I'm going to call it walkable. And number one, I'm going to call this solid. And if I close this and I, I navigate away and come back and I look, zero is now walkable and one is now solid. Now, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't actually do anything yet. Um, and that's just the name of it. So let's make it do something. And this is where the, um, the, 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 the script settings really comes in uh, and makes this easy for you. I'm going to click on script settings and I know that tile type number one, I want to be solid. So if I scroll down, I can find where my tile collision scripts are and I can say, okay, tile type one right now is pointing to a null walkable tile. And I can actually even see where that is. It's in routines, basic module scripts, tile scripts, null. I want that to be solid. So how much you want to make a bet if I navigate there, I'm going to find one that says solid. Uh, if I go to, if I double click on basic, module scripts, I'm just reading this across, module scripts, and I'm looking at tile scripts, I can see that one of these is called solid behavior. Um, I also can see that I've got some folders for the, the practice demo games that I've created for my little 20 minute uh, tutorial games that I created down below. Um, but if I double click on solid behavior now, you can see that my tile collision zero is set to walkable. And now instead of being walkable, my tile collision one is set to solid. So that's how we can change what these tiles are. So for instance, I could change the name of tile type three and I could make it hurt. You know, I could make it a, a instant death or something like that. And then I could choose uh, instant death, which I believe is one of these. Uh, restart game is probably what I'd use for instant death and I could double click that on tile two and then and we're going to do that in a minute. So I just wanted you to sort of see how I was able to um, 
combine giving it a label and setting the script for what it actually does to make this tile do that thing. So right now this is still set to walkable. I'm gonna make a new asset. I'm gonna make it too wide and too tall. And here's where I'm gonna use these, these other sub palettes. The bottom was definitely that first sub palette because it had the brown in it. But the top, I used this sub palette and now I've got that tree that uses, that combines both of these sub palettes. Uh, now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tell it that I want each of these to be solid. And now what I've got is I've got a solid tree and I'm gonna call that tree and hit save. Uh, lastly, I'm going to make one more. Uh, it's gonna be one by one. It's going to be these spikes, and these are definitely that uh, sub palette. And I don't have spikes. I know I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, tile type number three, collision type number three, or I'm sorry, I'm going to use collision type two here, the third one down, to be my sort of death uh, tile type. So if I go into my project settings and I go to labels, tile types, I want this third one to be insta kill. You can name these whatever you want. It doesn't actually, when you name them, it doesn't do anything. It's not actually making this an instant kill tile until I go to script settings and I navigate down to uh, tile collision two and I'm going to navigate to module scripts and um, I think it's in tile scripts. I can use the, just the simple reset, restart game. There we go. So now I can see that when I run into tile type number one, it's just going to be walkable. Nothing's going to happen. If I run into tile, I'm sorry, zero, nothing's going to happen. One, I'm, it's going to be solid behavior. I'm not going to be able to walk through it. And if it's tile type two, it's going to restart the game. It's basically going to be quote unquote death. Okay, awesome. So that's how I can do this. And now I'm going to apply. Uh, if I navigate away and come back, um, I want to make this. And now it says insta kill. And I'm going to call this. Um, spikes oops spikes and i'm going to save it and you know i could make multiple tile like i don't have to do a uh you know one per one i can make multiple things that are solid for instance let me make a, a another tree right here or even like let's make these don't hurt you if they're green they don't hurt you only if they're red with the blood on them do they hurt you this is just like a mossy dulled spike so i can make that solid and call this dull spikes and save that. And now I've actually got different spikes and I can make like a different color tree or whatever, you know. So that's basically how we create assets out of the graphics that we've used and how we can assign collision data to those graphics uh, to create assets. Uh, just another quick thing uh, to check out. I also have asset groups. I'm gonna make an asset group and I'm gonna call this asset group. I don't know why I'm gonna call it this, but I'm gonna call it say trees and I'm going to put all my trees inside asset group trees. So I'm going to drag down my tree. And now I can actually see that only trees is there. When I'm working on a screen, I, this, this list is going to get really unruly. If I've got, you know, six tile sets per bank, three banks full of, you know, dozens of, of tiles per tile set, this is going to get huge and, and unruly to look at. So I might want to put like overworld, you know, asset group and then maze asset group and then blocks asset group or whatever. And that way it's just easy for me to organize. It's just, it doesn't actually do anything, but I can get in and edit it even from here and it'll actually update the edit from here. So that's how we create assets that we can then paint our screens with. Uh, and I hope that helps you. And in the next step, we're going to look at a different type of asset called a path.